Hi everybody, so I appreciate my uh, head torch is probably quite blinding, but uh, yeah, I'm out on Dartmoor tonight um, on the uh, East Dart River to visit um, a waterfall that I haven't been to for years, but it's looking, looking like a, it's going to be a really good night. Um, then the moon's up until two o'clock, um, so the first part of the night there should be some nice moonlit landscapes. Um, and then once the moon sets, I should have an hour or so of moonless dark skies before um, the light of twilight arrives. So this particular waterfall has uh, two good compositions, well it has probably a few more than that, but it's got some good viewpoints looking north. So I'll get a few shots looking towards the plough, maybe some star trails. And there's also a nice southwesterly looking view as well, which um, will look towards the Milky Way. So. I've got a few ideas, um, I've just parked the car, probably about 40 minutes away from the waterfall at the moment, so just walking along the open moor, um, which is quite nice under the moonlight, so I uh, haven't done this for a little while, so yeah, it's nice to get back on the moors, hiking at night. The moonlit walk across the moors was beautiful, and soon enough, I arrived at the valley which hosted my waterfall destination. Thankfully, the river level was low enough to cross the river to reach the more favourable viewpoint. It felt surreal to be back at this location after so many years. Once settled, I made compositions from the waterfall space and from above looking down the river. I was eager to get the most out of the moonlight before moonset set in. After moonset I repeated most of these compositions again to get some variation in the scenes with the change in light. Spending time in this magical place and watching the stars grace across the sky was superb. In my first composition, I used my 24mm and featured Yusa Major constellation above the waterfall. I was fortunate to also capture a meteor in one of my sky frames, adding a nice element to the scene, I thought. For my second image, the moon was closer to set in, allowing the dimmer stars to come out. I positioned the camera closer to the waterfall this time, enabling a change of perspective. I also opted for a square composition, which I thought composed the scene nicely. With the brightness of nautical twilight fast approaching, I went back and forth capturing a few different compositions looking north towards the waterfall and also some south compositions. Uh, this was one of those locations where there was only one subject, being the waterfall. So I wanted to ensure I had a few compositions of slight variation to choose from, um, so that in post-production I had uh, plenty of options. So this concludes the video. Thank you everybody for watching. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to place a comment below. Otherwise, I wish everybody uh, clear skies.